The title of our paper is Assessment of Naval Oranges, Clementine Tangerines, and Rotaceous Fruits as Hosts of Bactrocera cucurbiti and Bactrocera latifrons, Diptera tephridity. It is authored by Grant McQuaid, Peter Follett, Nick Likido, and Charmaine Silva. We work for the USDA Agricultural Research Service out of Hilo, Hawaii, USA, except for Nick Likido, who works for USDA APHIS Plant Epidemiology and Risk Analysis Laboratory out of Honolulu, Hawaii, USA. Our paper deals with the host status of fruits for tefritted fruit flies. For fruits such as citrus species that are exported from countries where tefritted fruit flies are present, regulatory procedures are needed to mitigate the risk of introducing these pests into an importing country along with the fruits. Our research focused on assessing the degree to which citrus species could be infested by two tefritted fruit fly species, Bactrocera latifrons and Bactrocera cucurbiti, the latter commonly referred to as the melon fly. The host fruits of Bactrocera latifrons are most commonly in the plant family Solanaceae, which includes plants such as eggplant, pepper, and tomato, or in the plant family Cucurbitaceae, which includes plants such as squashes and melons. There are, though, several citrus species, family Rotaceae, which have been suggested to be hosts of Bactrocera latifrons. Bactrocera latifrons is present in South and Southeast Asia, but has expanded its range to Hawaii and also into Africa in the countries of Kenya and Tanzania. Many of the host fruits of the melon fly are in the plant family Cucurbitaceae, which includes plants such as squashes and melons, but melon fly also has hosts in many other plant families. Several citrus species, family Rotaceae, have been listed as melon fly hosts. Melon fly is also present in South and Southeast Asia and has extended its range to Hawaii and to the African continent. Its presence in Africa, however, includes many countries in West Africa, as well as in Kenya and Tanzania of East Africa. We chose to test the ability of these two fruit fly species to infest two citrus species, Washington navel orange, Citrus sinensis, and Clementine tangerine, Citrus reticulata, variety Clementine. For our tests, we used no-choice cage infestation studies with 50 gravid females per cage and 24-hour exposure to the test fruits. Trials were run separately for each fruit fly species. Each trial included four cages with intact fruits, four cages with fruits punctured 50 times, and one cage with an unpunctured control fruit, known to be a good host for the fruit fly species. Control fruits used were either papaya, eggplant, or Anaheim pepper. Twelve trials were completed for the clementine tangerine tests, while at least 16 trials were completed for the navel orange tests. For clementine tangerines, there was no significant difference in adult recovery among intact fruits, punctured fruits, or the papaya control for melon fly, while adult recovery of Bactrocera latifrons was significantly less in both intact and punctured fruits than from control Anaheim peppers. For navel oranges, there was no adult melon fly recovery from intact fruits, and adult recovery from punctured fruits was significantly less than from papaya controls. Adult Bactrocera latifrons recovery from navel oranges was significantly less from both intact and punctured fruits than from either eggplant or papaya controls. Based on our results, combined with the presence of only one report in published literature of field infestation by Bactrocera latifrons of any citrus species, we conclude that risk mitigation of tangerines and navel oranges is not needed for Bactrocera latifrons. Although flies oviposited into both intact and punctured fruits, eggs rarely develop to adult stage. However, we conclude that risk mitigation for tangerines and navel oranges for melon fly is needed. There was good adult emergence from both intact and punctured clementine tangerines, and there are two reports in the literature of field infestation of tangerines by melon fly. Although there was no adult melon fly emergence from intact navel oranges, there was some adult recovery from punctured fruits, and there are four reports in published literature of field infestation of sweet oranges by melon fly. Risk mitigation options for the melon fly include a radiation quarantine treatment, high temperature forced air, cold treatment, and systems approaches. Future directions of authors of this paper include the following. Grant McQuaid is working to prepare an annotated world bibliography of the host fruits of the melon fly. Peter Follett is continuing efforts to develop post-harvest treatments and systems approaches to export Hawaii fruits and vegetables. And Nick Likido is continuing to explore alternative, other than Probit 9, methods of achieving, achieving commodity quarantine security.